This week's market monitor says he is putting his money to work in small cap energy names that he believes are mostly isolated from ongoing trade tensions. He also thinks that they could end the year 20 percent higher. Last time he was with us was a year ago in June of 2017. At that time, he picked Amazon, which over the last year is up 68 uh, percent. The iShares Dow Jones U.S. Regional Banks ETF, which has grown by 19 percent in the last year. And the First Trust Stocks European Select Dividend ETF, which is higher by 6 percent in the last year. We welcome back Steve Dudash, the president of IHT Wealth Management. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Uh Nice to see you, Bill. The, the small cap energy, it, it, are you just trying to avoid trade tensions by going with these? I mean, listen, we're in a trade war. Uh, it's not fun to talk about, and we're in the early innings of a trade war. Um, and we can debate the politics of it, but the reality is we have to organize our portfolios around it. And it, like we were talking about before, uh, last year, we've been talking about jumping in small caps for 15 months now. And if you would have done that, you'd been up over 8% over what the market did last year. And we both know the market was killing it last year and that's because they are better suited for this political environment we're in and we, we just have to accept that and so we're trying to take advantage of that and and try to avoid some of the pitfalls that are probably going to come in the next year or two as the war you know progresses all right so you gave us three picks let's start with parsley energy why do you like it yeah Okay, Parsley Energy of the three, it, it's the most um, generic, to be honest with you. It, it's a fracting play. And, and you could pick a, a several in that same sector, but energy prices, like we've been talking about, are going to be hitting the 60s, 70s for quite some time. We were out there when it was in the 20s saying that's not a realistic number. It has to get up to the 60s and 70s again, and it has. And so we're taking advantage of that. And let's be honest. U.S. fracting isn't going away. It's going to continue to just continue to grow in this right. environment. They make a lot of money on it. So this is a, a smaller, again, tactical play. This is not a long-term hold. That This one is one of those you're in for a little while and you got to get out because they could be out of business in five or ten years as the environment changes. All right. No doubt. What about Synovus Energy? Synovus? Yeah. I, they are just like Amazon. When you're talking about Amazon, people thought it was super pricey when we were saying to buy into it, but they had cornered the market in something. They could outcompete their peers. Synovus is the same story. They've, they can pull Canadian oil sands out cheaper than everybody else. They get it out in the $30, $35 uh, barrel range. Again, prices are going to be in the 60s and 70s for some time. They can make more money. They got rid of Conoco or they divested from each other. So we're before they had to hit 50 something dollar barrel, mm -hmm. now they're 30 something dollar barrel. Uh, they're going to profit more than their peers. They can do something cheaper. They can do something more efficient than their competitors. And let's finish Same up with sir. Solaris oil field infrastructure. Uh, okay, back to the fracting play. And they happen to be the ones who provide the way of getting the, the oil out of the ground and the infrastructure that's involved in it, the technology that's involved in it. Uh, they're the backbone for that whole industry. Uh, <laughs> that, that's probably the safest of the bunch. That's the one that's going to be around for a long time, continuing to do it, until fracking doesn't exist in the U.S. anymore, which, you know, it's going to be quite some time. So if you're looking for the safest of the three, that's okay. the one you could put money in and, and ride out for some time. Always good to see you, Steve. Thanks. Stephen Dudash with IHT Wealth Bill. Management. And okay. for more on his picks, you can head to our website at nbr.com.